Hello everyone, my name is Austin, and hey, let's talk about a big, big issue in Genshin Impact, and that is the ever-growing roster of Genshin Impact characters. How many characters do we have in Genshin? I'll tell you what, we have like 50 plus characters. That's right, we have over 50 characters that you can play in Genshin. And before I tell you the negatives, right, let me tell you the positives of having such a gigantic roster of characters that you can play with, right? Well, first off, right, first off, it makes the company money. That's a good thing. If the company gets money, then, you know, we get more content for free, and it's super cool. And if people keep pulling on these characters, it makes MiHoYo, it makes HoYoVerse, it makes Cognosphere, it makes them all happy, right? It gives them that big payday, it gives them that big pay paycheck, it's, it's awesome. And also, more importantly, right, also more importantly, it allows you to diversify your portfolio, right? It allows you to be flexible in situations, right? Having a deep character roster allows you to, you know, adapt quickly when, you know, when, when certain domains or certain, like, abyss, like, floors need, like, these type of characters. If you have a big roster, like, it will help you adapt to those changes, right? And obviously, you know, another thing is that every character, right? There's so, like, there's so many characters that like every character is like represented in some sort of way and you know even if it's not represented in some sort of way uh there will be more characters to like ex like you know to fulfill a certain role that like somebody wants right you know basically what i'm trying to say is that like there are so many characters that you can like practically main anyone and it's cool it's so cool that you can practically main anyone it's, it's, it's really awesome, really. It's, it's really cool. But, like, like yeah, and, like, and like with that, you know, it's I think it's really cool that, like, because of this, like, ever-growing roster list that, like, like, anything's possible, right? Anything is possible. But the downsides of having such a massive roster is that there needs to be content that is suited for the roster, right? And obviously, I know what everyone's gonna say. Abyss take care of that. Abyss is the way to go. And my problem with this is that the Abyss is, yes, the solution, right? Like most characters, you might not use them, but you might use them for only for Abyss. So Abyss take care of that. But a, a big lying issue here is, here is that like, you know, depending on your level and depending on your experience with the game, Certain characters that you you have may just be fine in Abyss. Like, of course, you can always use your newer characters in Abyss, but if your old characters are doing okay in Abyss, why would you use, uh, you know, char your new your new characters in Abyss when your old characters are doing fine, right? Or when you have a certain amount of characters already to where you literally don't need anything else anymore. Like, you're literally fine. You literally don't like whatever. Like, you know, at some point you'd be like, why do I need to pull characters anymore? Like I'm like I'm gonna go pull weapons. And obviously don't ever pull weapons because, you know, they're a scam, you know, they cost so many more primo gems than actual characters. Characters get your more investment with characters, obviously, and weapons. I mean, you know, you get less investment out of them, you know? So yeah. But like like what I'm trying to say is, you know, at some point, like, like I'm not talking about the meta, right? I, like, it, I guess, like, from the way I'm talking about this, I guess you could say that, like, I'm, like, referring to, to the meta, to where, like, oh, you might as well just pick these, like, characters. Pick Kazuha, Raiden, Zhongli, Nahida. You, you'll be fine. You can clear the game. Don't pull for anyone else. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that, right? I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not I'm before, before people, you know, comments down below start accusing me of such things, I'm not saying that. You could be, like, a Xiaomi. You could be a hotel main. You could be an Ayato main. Like, like, mains that aren't, like, you know, particularly, like, meta currently. You know, 3.4 as we speak. They're not currently, like, you know, they're not they're not currently, like, the high standard, the high bar. Or, like, Ganyu, for example, right? I'm, like, a part-time Ganyu main. Like, you know, like, those characters are not particularly, like, on everyone's focus. But, like, that applies the same, right? For me, 
I run a freeze team, and that covers 90% of the 90% of the game. The overworld team, I'm fine. Domains, I mean, yes, I could use other characters for like I guess the ley line buffs and stuff like that, but my characters are like like decent enough to where I like it doesn't really like it doesn't matter too much if I like change to a different comp or not because I I will still have the same clear time you know like I'll still clear under like a minute or like you know a minute thirty or some shit like it's it's not going to affect my overall play time like it, like like I noticed this in Sumero right like back then when you don't need like back then when not what not many people had like you know dendro characters and shit like that. Like, I, I cleared some of the Sumero domains, and, you know, even without Dentro, I did fine, you know? I did I did good with Freeze, got new Freeze, I did fine. And so, like, you know, it's it's this idea of, like, you know, like, once you have so many characters, like, you have so many characters in the roster, right? And once you have, like, you know, all the characters that you will ever need in the game, you know, it doesn't have to be meta. Like, you could be, like, a certain main, and you get characters for your main, to help support your main, right? Once, you know, you, you know, you get all the characters that, like, just work together really well. I mean, I don't really see, you know, I don't really, really see the need for you to pull someone else. Unless, of course, you like them for, like, husbando or wife of reasons. In that case, it doesn't matter what I say. Go ahead and pull it. But for anyone else who, you know, wants to use their characters, and, you know, not just simply look at them and admire them, or simply just to collect them, you want to, like, play them as well. Me, I'm a waifu husbando enjoyer, and I love to, like, you know, play with their kids. I want to, like, use them more. I want to use them more, right? I like to use my characters. What can I say? It makes, it makes me appreciate, you know, Genshin characters more by using them. And it's really hard to do that when, you know, the roster is so huge. It's so huge. Like, oh, if you have Nahida, your Dendro, like, application is so good that, I mean, of course you can always use other characters. Of course, of course. No, well, Haytham is not bad. Kolai is not bad. Like, 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 nothing is bad. Like, of course, of course. But all I'm saying is that, you know, Nahida is pretty awesome to where I might not necessarily want to pull for those other Dendro characters, right? Of course, of course, each character plays differently, of course. Like, not, like, no one character can solve, can, like, be everything, right? No one character can be everything. If no one, no character can be the OMG, I can do everything character. Maybe except Kazuha, but I don't know. But, you know, the point is, like, every, like, yeah, every character has their own niche, they have their own strength and stuff like that. Like, yeah, it's, of course. So, like, if you're gonna pull for that, you know, particular niche, for example, Wanderer, he can fly, right? That's pretty cool. That's, you should pull him because he can fly. That's pretty cool, right? But, like, at some point, you know, like, certain niches, like, of course, you know, they might not matter as much to you, right? They might, of course, right? If you're pulling for Husbando or Wife of Reasons, like, 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 for example, right? For me, right? You know, before I got Alhatham, you know, uh, I'll explain the story later, at some point in the future, if y'all want, if, if you guys want to know, but before I pulled Alhatham, I was originally going to plan Hutao, right, Hutao. Um, and then I realized that, you know, I already had, like, d -Luke. I already had, you know, uh, yeah, I had d <laughs> Like, 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 I didn't really particularly want any other pirate character. Don't get me wrong. I wanted, like, I, like, I love Hu Tao as a character, right? And I wanted her. I, I did. But would I use her in my overall, overall team? No, because I'm running the Archon team. I'm running Nahida, Benti, Raiden, and I'm hoping for Zhang Li once he comes out. Uh, when he comes out out of his hiding, hiding, hiding hole, you know, for his uh, rerun, I guess, right? Uh, once I assemble the full Archon team, you know, I can blast through everything. And I'm, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm already blasting through everything, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, yeah, I'm running my Archon team like 90% of the game, right? And, you know, Abyss, I'm running Hyper Bloom, 
most of the time. But, like, it's not even a matter of Diluke. It's just a matter of, like, you know, Abyss, Hyper Bloom, both halves, you'll be fine, right? You'll be fine. And, you know, Overworld, you can just literally use anyone and you'll be fine. And you can't really say that, like, oh, but, like, you know, what if it changes to, like, you know, uh, it changes to, like, Crystallize, or changes to a Vaporize comp, or changes to, like, I mean, uh, or, or changes to, like, I don't know, uh, something Pyro-related, something, like, I don't know. But then, like, my answer is that, like, Sum it's Sumeru, like, it's, it's green, like, we're in Sumeru currently, we're in 3.4 currently, right? We're in 3.4 currently. So everything's gonna be Dendro related. So even if Dendro isn't like the main focus on a particular floor, you know, the enemies, whether intentionally or not, will still be like, you know, greatly be affected by Dendro, even if Dendro isn't the main focus of that particular floor, right? And we all know that like, uh, I can, can I say the F word? Uh, Fontaine, right? We all know that Fontaine will show up um, in 4.0, and that's Hydro, right? And yes, you could run like Vaporize, Frozen comps when, I guess, Abyss floors, uh, you know, start, I guess, uh, transforming into like Fontaine like related uh, like floors and stuff. Like once Abyss floors like, you know, pertain to like Fontaine, right? Like you, you know, like water stuff, right? Like that's gonna be the main thing if on Fontaine is water stuff. And if that's gonna affect Abyss, right? If there's gonna be more water usage in Abyss, Hyper Bloom will also be fun in Abyss, right? Will also be fun to. Uh, so I would say not until Natlan, right? Natlan, right? That's the Fire Nation. Not until like Natlan, which is like two years from now, or, or yeah, a year or two from now, will will the meta actually particularly change? And Hyper Bloom will probably rem remains like supreme for like at least another year or two. So like, like yeah, I asked you this, right? Like, where can I use my Hu Tao if I were to get her? I mean, I could switch to Virgin, but why would I? My characters I'm using right now are fine. And believe me, I don't have the meta characters. I don't have Kazuha, I don't have Zhongli. I mean, I do have Raiden, but I pulled her for wife of reasons. I, don't, I did not pull her for, you know, for meta, I mean, I pulled it for Titty Sword, like animation. I did, I did not pull it for, you know, her ability to like slash through everything. Although I will admit, it's nice, it's awesome, it's great. And I will admit that, you know, Raiden is now my main like electro, I guess, app, like applicator, I guess. But like, yeah, like the only true, like, I guess, like good thing about like, just like, you know, the Evergrown roster of Genshin, right? Is that like, you know, yeah, you get to pull characters that like fit your personality or like characters that you just really like because they just, there's just something about them, you know? <laughs> Eternity! Uh, but, you know, it's just. But other than that, like, you know, if you have a decent overworld team, you don't really need to pull a team for overworld. Abyss? I mean. Hyper Bloom is probably the way to go for most team comps. I mean, like, we're probably gonna see Hyper Bloom, yeah, Sumeru, Sumeru Abyss to like Fontaine Abyss. So that's quite a while. So keep sticking to Hyper Bloom, I guess. Like, nothing's, like, not much is gonna change. Uh, don't get me wrong, right? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, like, 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 all of a sudden, new characters are now useless or something. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that just because you have, you know, 90% 90 90 of the roster or 100% of the roster that, you know, not every single character is going to be useless and only, you know, the 10% of characters will actually be useful. No, I'm not, I'm not saying that. Any character can be useful, of course. That's why that's, that's, that's my whole point of the video, right? Is that any character can be useful. Any character can shine in Genshin Impact, and of course, it's because of that ever-growing roster that you you can make a certain character shine. Of course, I'm saying that. That's what I'm saying. Is that any character can grow, anything like it's fine, and you know, it's, it's great, it's cool. But at the end of the day, 
once you have so many like different characters, it's kind of hard to like incorporate the newer characters into your like team dynamics and your I guess team comps because like 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 unless there's new content that like I guess satisfies like there's new content that like you know mixes up a little like mixes up team comps and requires you to like oh pull for certain characters it's kind of hard to incorporate certain characters into your team comps even though you really like them like i, I can like I, like I know i want to pull eula for like you know waifu reasons because i really like eula as a character but elemental reactions are kind of broken they're really broken in fact 95 percent of characters use you know they use uh elemental reactions you know hyper bloom vaporize freeze va you know quicken spread you know uh not crystallize no one ever uses crystallize swirl like like shit like that right like 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 obviously eula eula can still do physical like damage it can still like kill it with that with physical damage right she can still murder physical damage of course i'm not i'm not saying that she can't all i'm saying is that you know it's really hard to incorporate her into a lot of team comps when your team comps are doing okay you know and that's all i want to say really that's about it bye